Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the classic rig once again on the bench with a retrofit amplifier. I'll try to check into the Virginia QSL party and get some reports now. Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Mike Alpha. Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Mike Alpha. Roger 157 Mike Alpha Delta. This is 001 Oscar November QSL. Uh, what was the location again? Toronto, Ontario. Toronto, Ontario. Oscar November QSL. QSL, thank you for Ontario 73. Victor Alpha 3 Uniform Mike Alpha. Victor Alpha 3, Uniform Mike Alpha. Okay, Victor Alpha 3, uh, something Mike Alpha. Uniform Mike Alpha, Uniform Mike Alpha, your 59 into Toronto, Ontario. QSL? Uh, yeah, Roger, uh, Victor Alpha 3, Uniform Mike Alpha. Roger, Roger. Uh, zero. Actually, this is the second one. Zero, zero, two, on, Ontario. Zero, zero, two, Ontario. QSL. Oh, QSL, QSL. Yeah, I say. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put you down for a zero, zero, one, Ontario. Zero, zero, one, Ontario. And uh, I think you're coming in about a five seven here in Northern Virginia. And the serial number I would give you would be one, one, one. Roger, Roger. The serial number I gave is 002, 002, QSL. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, 002, Delta, 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 This is my Atlas 210X. Many years ago I got this and uh, repaired it. It was working but I could not get the final driver and the finals for the final module. So I have removed it. I'll show it to you. And instead of looking for the transistors which were rather expensive even at that time but now they are not available. I thought of making it a QRP external. So now I have built this Banggood 45 watt linear amplifier. It doesn't uh, really give good output on all the HF bands. But I was uh, more interested in the uh, 80 meter, 40 meter and 20 meter. And to that end, this works. Although it does give, uh, because the rig itself gives very low output on those bands. So this, also this amplifier is not a well designed one. But nevertheless it works for whatever money I have spent on that. It uses uh, two IRF 530 push-pull pre-driver and then a driver but in any case I was using an external uh, display frequency display so I thought why not add another extra module here as the amplifier <coughs> instead of trying to accommodate it uh, within the chassis essentially I get uh, I've separated the VCC that is for the main amp and the bias and driver voltage so that because uh, the Atlas 210 doesn't switch the final power supply. Power supply to the final, it doesn't switch, it is always on. The supply from the T line, there's a T line on 210X which supplies the driver as well as the bias. So I'm supplying that here, and this is uh, for the final lamp, the IRF530, and this will be in and out. Uh, this is how the inside looks. So as you can see there are uh, two IRF 530s inside here and uh, there's the uh, driver, there's the 9 volt uh, regulator for the bias and the driver and there's a pre-driver here and I have mounted it on a very hefty uh, uh, repurposed copper bus bar as the heat spreader and kept it small the form factor 
I didn't want to put a larger heat sink and uh, key down this can operate about 5-7 minutes without any issues and I have also you know if you look at the original circuit there are two uh, temperature uh, regulation diodes for the MOSFETs which are mounted on the PCB which are nowhere close to the MOSFETs what I have done is I have removed those SMD diodes and I have placed uh, 1N4148 on the body of the MOSFETs and then wired it back to the PCB that way there is some temperature regulation at least if nothing else it's a very simple one and uh, purposely I have not put any low pass filters in this because the output of this goes back inside the Atlas 210X to the low pass filter and from there on it goes to the uh, antenna or to the linear uh, this is the front panel of this uh, amplifier this is the uh, input from the Atlas 210X and uh, this is the output from this amplifier which goes to the low pass filter of 210X and this is the VCC supply V in for the final MOSFETs and this is for the bias and the pre-driver and the driver supply which is switched only in transmit mode so that way there is no current drawn by the finals or uh, any part of the other circuit during receive mode so only during transmit mode there is current drawn by the finals